Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Oracle processes. So, this was the diagram that we draw uh, in, in the very past class of our uh, Oracle DBA tutorial. That uh, Oracle server is consist of processes and system global area or a memory structure and file system. So we have already dealt with the file system. We learn what are different types of files that we we need, and then we in the last couple of videos we discussed about the memory structure like you know what are the, how this memory structure is divided into multiple area or multiple pools and in this video we are going to talk about database processes so here is another diagram where uh, whenever a client c1 connects to the oracle database server for client c1 in a dedicated server process mode uh, oracle creates a dedicated server and that dedicated server is going to be represent the client c1 whenever uh, any request come from the client and so essentially we have this is a different type of process and these are different type of processes which are running at the startup of your database so essentially what happens is the oracle processes are divided into three types oracle Okay. So the first one is your server process. Server processes. And the second one is your background processes. And the last category is your something called so the last category is your um, slave processes. So let's discuss about each of them in detail. So server process is something that is uh, like you know when a client connects, this server process is going to start. And so basically for in a dedicated server process mode there is the one to one mapping that means each client will have their own dedicated server to represent them that means when uh, like the client is going to submit a query then dedicated server process is going to execute that query on behalf of the client and like no, basically this is going to start when we need okay it's not like uh, you know the multiple processes are there and then you know your client comes and all this thing so so basically um, the first point is they represent client and these processes basically execute the commands on behalf of client And these are basically, you know, we also call these are the workhorse process, which does all these things on behalf of a client. And then uh, we uh, we look at the database background processes. In background processes, what we have is that these processes started at the start of at the starting time of database. Started at db startup okay so these are called background processes that means you know they are going to do couple of common tasks like for example whenever you know a buffer cache is completely filled and then or something happened then uh, we, we need to you know, oracle needs to write the buffer cache to the disk and that in that case there is a there is a background processes called db writer so db writer is going to kick up and going to write the buffer cache to the to the file so when db writer is going to write those buffer cache those buffer cache may be changed by multiple different server processes so basically that, that's why i'm saying that these are the common processes which so going to do a common set of tasks so do set of predefined tasks 
something okay so so this is uh, like uh, one example is your db writer or log writer and so on and there is a third kind of processes which basically slave to either server processes or background process basically slave processes are they work for either server process or the background process right so for example whenever db writer writes so it may just give to a slave process and that slave process is going to basically write the file io and all this thing okay so this is what the self process, slab processes and what you can show you right now i can show you these processes on my uh, machine and in the next couple of videos we are going to discuss in detail about what are kind of background processes and detail about the server processes and the slab processes so let's go to uh, like the so this is my um, machine where I have a Oracle server is running and my Oracle instance SID is XE so therefore if I do PS minus PS minus EF and then I grab let's see so these are the processes okay so these are the processes what we have talked about and then this PMON and all this thing this SE for example this is DB writer DBW uh, this is my log writer and this is my checkpoint and then smon and all other things so and then these are the slab processes that xe underscore x s 0 0 0 s 0 0 1 0 0 2 and then uh, at the end i have these are my server processes okay so this is how it is going to look like and then it looks like now i have a bunch of clients connected at this moment and therefore i have a bunch of server processes running okay so so these are the processes and then we are going to discuss about their roles and then then how basically how they work with the memory structure and file system so that we'll complete the database server architecture at the end of this uh, processes class processes videos okay and then one thing to remember if so basically the processes will be starting with xe or ending with xe depending so why it xe because that is the sid of my database okay so that was sid of my database and then what oracle gives creates response of a process with xe as a process name 